Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today we're going to focus on creating a sweep using the free program Design Spark Mechanical. Okay, what we want to do as soon as we open up the program, we want to go to File, Create New, and Create a New Design. We want to change our plane, sketch plane to two-dimensional. Okay, what we want need to do first is create a path. Now, in order to do a sweep in um, Design Sparks Mechanical, the object you're sweeping needs to follow a path. So we're going to go, we're going to make that three inches. I'm going to select off of it. I'm going to create this, use this uh, three point arch. I'm going to create a, a one inch pipe there, a one inch curve, I should say. I'm going to select off of it. I'm going to use the line tool again. Create a line, make this 2.125, that's fine. Go ahead and select off of it. Go back to the three point arc. Then we're gonna go ahead and make that one inch as well. Click off of it. Now we're gonna add one last line. That's gonna be our end line. And that's gonna be 2.25. It's gonna be fine. Click off of that. So now we have our Selected path for the object to follow. We're going to go to mode and we're going to go to 3D mode. Now we're going to use our spin tool to slightly spin the part so it's easier to see. Now we're going to select the end point of that part and we're going to grab the circle tool. And you notice when we, um, once we clicked with the circle tool, another additional plane was added. Um, so we're going to add a smaller inside diameter then a slightly larger outside diameter. Okay, so we're going to select off of that. We're going to go to the pull function. We don't need this center pipe because we're going to make this hollow. So go ahead and delete that. Then we're going to go select the outer circle. We're going to tell it that we want to sweep with this icon here. And then we're going to hold down the control key and we're going to get all, all the parts that are necessary to complete the sweep. And once we've selected all the necessary parts, the path, we're going to go there. Okay, and that part is basically going to, the circle is basically going to get a sweep along this path here. So let's go ahead and use our spin tool to check out the part. So basically, this is a pipe with a hollow that's hollow in the center. Okay, we'll go ahead and go back to the top mode. That's going to complete the Design Sparks mechanical lesson for, for today. Um, I thank you for watching, and hopefully you got something useful out of this tutorial.